Hi Scott, my name is Toby. Uh, I'm from Israel, and I want to first of all I want to thank you about uh, the podcast and uh, all the videos in uh, YouTube. It's great. You're really helpful, and uh, I learned a lot. My question for you is: uh, Were you uh, the best uh, suggestion to uh, design the the product, the logo, the branding? And where uh, do you do that and uh, how much is it supposed to cost and where we can I can do it in the, the lowest prices I can. Thank you very much again and you are great. Bye. Hey, Toby, all the way from Israel. What is up, man? That I mean, again, guys, I mean, all the way around the world, this stuff just really fires me up. So that is just awesome that uh, you guys are listening. Uh, you know, Toby, you're listening all the way from Israel. It's just crazy. So awesome. Thank you so much for being a listener and uh, really, really do appreciate it. Okay. Uh, okay. Th this is actually, a, it's a good question. I've touched on it before. Uh, first off, I think that having good graphics is pretty important because that will make your packaging look better. It will make your product look as though the perceived value on it is higher. So I would say definitely invest in a good graphic or logos. Um, so this way here, you have it. It's This is like another part of your asset. Um, I always talk about building your email list, right? And your your external channel and stuff like that, right? Like that that's an asset. I believe that your, your branding and your, uh, you know, because that's going to go on your marketing, that is an asset as well. So don't, I wouldn't go cheap on this. I mean, you can get it done, you know, cheaper, uh, but what I'm trying to say here is don't cut corners just to save a few bucks because this is something that's going to be branded um, or branding your products in the future. So I wouldn't skimp on this, okay? Uh, now, you can try Fiverr.com. Uh, I've tried them for numerous, uh, you know, numerous tasks. I would say though, I would probably use Fiverr for something like if you're doing social media posts and stuff like that, something, you know, something that's a little bit, uh, I guess more basic, but then again, you're not really looking at it being like your, your finished product on your box or something like that, right? So I would say Fiverr, I mean, again, you might find your designer on Fiverr because Fiverr, for those of you that don't know, and I'll leave the link in the show notes, but Fiverr is basically uh, a place where people are putting up a gig, they call it, right? A Fiverr gig for five bucks. So they're saying like, well, I'll design you, you know, a graphic for five bucks. But then it usually, it gets more expensive because you want more revisions or you want it to be saved at a higher resolution or you want it done in less than two days. Um, you know, all of that stuff can then add up to where you're spending 30, 40 bucks, which is still, that's cheap. But the thing is, is, you know, are you going to be able to find that, uh, you know, that, that special design or that graphic designer that you really want there because you're not really able to see a bunch of different designers unless you hire each one. So I guess a test would be hire four different designers, give them the same exact task and see which one comes out on top. It might cost you 40, 50 bucks to find that one. And once you find that one, you can continually use them. So that's one technique that you could use to find a graphic designer, um, or you can head over to 99designs. Um, 99designs, that's probably, I think, one of the better ones out there. What it does is it allows you to post your job, and then graphic designers come in, and they create a design for you, and then they post it in this little private area, and then you get to look at them and see which ones you like, which ones you don't like, and they, I think they they have like five or seven days in order to uh, complete these different designs, and then at the end, you get to pick a winner, uh, and then you, during that contest, you can tell them what you like, what you don't like, and then they can come back with, not, with another revision, and then at the end, you can, you can basically say, I, I want that one design. Um, now, it will cost you, I think the start, I think it's like 300 bucks. I think it's 299 bucks. But again, you don't have to pay unless you know unless you're happy, right? So you're you're really not risking anything unless you come out with a graphic that a graphic design that you like. Now, again, it's going to vary. That could go up in, in price if you're doing a full box, you know, uh, design, right? If you're doing like a full, you know, packaging design. But if we're just talking about a logo or a graphic, um, that's where the starting place is. But you can go all the way up to five hundred or a thousand dollars for a full box um, design or uh, you know, packaging. 
So just keep that in mind. I'm not affiliated with 99designs. I probably sh- uh, should be because I have referred them quite a bit, and I know a lot of podcasts have them on as their sponsor even, but uh, I'm not affiliated with them as of right now, but who knows, maybe in the future uh, they can start sending me some coffee money as well. So uh, we'll see. But um, that, that's who I would, I would try those two places. Or if you know someone uh, in, in, your, in your town, or if you know someone even maybe a friend of a friend knows of a graphic designer, you know, maybe go down that road. Um, but it is really important, I think, to find uh, a designer that's willing to work with you with multiple revisions. Um, so this way here, you can really find the one that's going to suit your needs. Uh, I think it's really important. That's a huge asset to have, by the way. The, the asset is the graphic or the design, but also the the graphic designer that you have, that's an asset that can be on your team in a sense, right? Because that's the one that's going to be able to help you do all of your packaging in the future as well. So hopefully this has helped you. Well, hey there. Thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now, that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. If you want to go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you want to listen to any of those episodes, head over to theamazingseller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to theamazingseller.com. There's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business. So definitely go check that out. Now, I just want to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. What I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information.